Hey, everybody, it's... And thank you, Coach. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the Chicago Bears. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. They run with David Montgomery, the third-round pick from Iowa State. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that, you start to back off, and that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second down now. It's Montgomery. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends, that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one from the outside can spill the play before he gets there. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening corner. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves. Sticking in the end zone on a running play. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Manning going to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Working from the gun, Manning finds his tight end, Ingram. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Running it with the NFL's offensive rookie of the year a season ago, Saquon Barkley. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And Barkley did not get there. 
Uh, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Back out coming Chicago's offense, CD, and the Bears got the win on Thanksgiving over the Detroit Lions. Kind of interesting, fifth straight win over the Lions on Thanksgiving. They beat them last year as well, but that win, now two in a row, puts them back into the playoff race in the NFC. Fifth straight on Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, isn't if you host Thanksgiving, shouldn't it be like a college team hosting homecoming? Well, you, it's an automatic beat, win, right? right? <laughs> and they're getting jumped on by a bad deal, but you're right. The Bears are definitely back in the playoff race in the NFC, even though it's tough sledding in their own division with Green Bay and Minnesota setting the pace. But if Mitchell Trubisky continues to play at that level, coupled with their defense, the Bears could make some noise down the stretch. Speaking of down the stretch, Final Four, they'll be home against Dallas on Thursday night at Green Bay. Home for Kansas City and at Minnesota. So certainly not an easy game in that final group. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves them with a fourth down now. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Marcus Golden, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. 22 yards there, a first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 38. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 13-yard line. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second and nine, Trubisky. That's complete to the tight end, Broniker. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A 12-yard touchdown grab as the Bears push further out in front. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. 
To throw is Manning. Catch made by Slayton. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Brandon, their last miss on third down, they actually were able to alleviate it because they picked it up with a fourth down conversion. I don't know that they'd be wise to try and do that again here. To me, you got to punt the ball away. Now Trubisky to throw. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And shutting him off, now open field. Touchdown, Chicago! Taylor Gabriel, 53 yards, as the Bears push further out in front. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and it's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Well, Charles is taking a step back here for a second, looking at the New York Giants. They've now lost eight straight following their previous defeat to the Green Bay Packers, 31 to 13. That eight-game losing streak, their worst since 2004. And to be honest, they're... and now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. On plays like this, when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you off sides. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. After the penalty, they go with Barkley, and they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the 10. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. 12 yards on the return that time, and it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Montgomery. 
That burst good for 20 and a first down. Let's go, baby. Let's go. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. Well, they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Call that a very strong gain of 24. They run Montgomery, and they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll be second and goal. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. 21-0, our score after one. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he will fight his way in. Not giving up there, and he's got a Bears touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run as the Bears push further out in front. On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little bit of courage and play calling, too, because after an unsuccessful run, especially one where you lose yardage, you oftentimes go right to throw in the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Go, The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive, but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally, you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally, I'm the one pre uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play And now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. And this is picked up by the Bears. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Manning now on first down. He'll complete this to Ingram, his tight end. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. to mark him down at the 39. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. A healthy Evan Ingram, that could be a great elixir for New York this year. And the season ago, he only played in 11 games because of the injuries, 35 catches, which was a dip down from two seasons ago when Ingram caught 64 passes. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike. Throwing on second and 14. Manning. And an alley to run. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Kyle Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Tariq Cohen with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys continue to pour it on. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. 
I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, have your fun. All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Shotgun now for Manning. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Bears take over. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it, because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. Come on, baby. From the 36, Trubisky, he finds Robinson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Trubisky now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10 on the ground. It's Montgomery. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. A gain of three, second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Alert, alert, alert. alert, alert. At the 47-yard line. Lock in, lock in. Bravo. Now it's Trubisky. It's complete to Robinson. 20. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Mitchell Trubisky as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eddie Goldman with a sack. Third and long for the Giants, and Eli following the sack. From the gun, it's Manning to Barkley on the check down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They'll get 34 yards there for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. 
There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. And his throw intercepted by the all pro corner, Kyle Fuller. And they will take over at the 26 yard line. Uh, CD, with that incompletion, let's look at some of the big games week 13. So these are ones that our crew, let me think of the biggest four. Let's rank them one to four as far as how big they are and what they mean. Baltimore at Buffalo, San Fran at New Orleans, KC at New England, Seattle at the Rams. How would you rank those? What do you think? Well, this is going to sound self-serving since I'm working San Francisco at New Orleans, but to me that's the number one game because... The number one seed in the NFC will be determined that week for that moment. Okay, the winner of that becomes the number one seed. I think the number two game, Seattle with the Rams. Because Seattle's trying to maintain pace with San Francisco or become the number one team in the NFC West. And the Rams have to have it if they have any designs of making the playoffs. The number three game, Baltimore Buffalo. Buffalo's announced its presence. That big win on Thanksgiving Day over Dallas. But weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Touchdown, Chicago! David Montgomery with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys continue to pour it on. The yards keep piling up in this first half. He's over 100 already. Now two touchdowns to boot after an amazing run right there. He's running so well, so hard, making people miss, running with such confidence that I've seen this before. It actually takes the confidence away from the defenders. They approach him a little more tentatively, which means he's going to get even more yards and create even more big plays. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Let's go! The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easy. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's Ha Ha Clinton Dix with a pick. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because well, here we are in December, giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. First down at the 40-yard line. Check, 50. Go to work, go to work. Hey, box drop, box drop. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Dancing to his left. Steps away to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Draw play here. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Push him back. First and ten. Push him back. Spark. Alert, 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 alert. No, no, no. Sweat it, sweat First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And another mistake here defensively as a flag is down on the tackle. And that's going to tack on 15 more. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Trubisky gives to Cohen. Got the first down inside the 10. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. 
They try again with Montgomery. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. David Montgomery on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Extra point splits the uprights, and a route is on here in this first half. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Now, Saquon Barkley. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Buster Screen. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. There's any doubt that that was not a very good throw by Eli. And, you know, part of what happens is he's a little bit of a slinger, all right? He's going to throw it downfield and take his shots. And in this case, it backfired. Worth noting, you remember 2007 against the Vikings, three pick sixes Manning had in that game, tied for the most in a game in NFL history. Now study his career. They've thrown the ball downfield a lot. That's where you'll accumulate a few more interceptions. This fielded at the two. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. We get a look at Sterling Shepard as he and the rest of the offense march out into place. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. CD, while we have a quick second here, I want to give a shout-out to three teams who have struggled mightily this year who all got wins in Week 12. The Dolphins, the Redskins, and for their first win of the season, the Bengals. How about you? I love your empathy, right? You hate to see teams struggle like this. This. Hate to see teams that are down. And when they get wins, you come with a little bounce, don't you? You got a little extra spring in your step. Those Bengals. And they beat the Jets, who at the time were hot, right? Yep. They won three in a row. How about Washington? That win over Carolina. And then, of course, the Dolphins. No one really saw that coming. Their win over Philadelphia, even though it was at home. Could those wins for those teams be the death knell for the teams that lost. The Jets, eh, we're not going to talk about them anymore. Carolina, they still thought maybe a late run could put them in the playoff race in the NFC South. And then how about Philadelphia? But they're not out of it. No. They still control their destiny. If they win out, they go 9-7 and seven and win the NFC East. Yeah, because they're just one game back of 6-6 six and six Dallas. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Manning to Barkley on the draw play. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Manning. He's got his man. This is Tate. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A well-executed 22-yard game. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. 90 Wolf. 
59, Mike to 59. Target, 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 target. And Another try for Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. We have him. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They gotta find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. And they're gonna get him behind the line yet again, as is nightmare afternoon continues only a yard on the pickup and now they've got a third down and eight these guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth barring a conversion here on third down he completes it to Tate and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 10 yards good for a giant first down so here's a first and 10 at the 38 Manning going to hand it off to Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards and a giant first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. On the draw, this is Barkley. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. That's something we saw over and over again in Barkley's rookie season. He had 91 catches last year, most ever by a rookie. And now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. But call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. We've Defense, got yeah. we've, got the de we've got the we've got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Again, it's Cohen. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Now it's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards is the pickup there, and a first down for Chicago. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now a run with Montgomery. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll run on second down with Cohen. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. Chicago! Tariq Cohen, 42 yards, as his guys continue to pour it on. 
And he keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is, just what you said, you've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Throwing his Manning on third down. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll give him eight on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. We play to win. Let's go. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. The last time out, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me, trying to get to the airport. That's the roads true. would be fairly that, clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's Trubisky to throw. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Janoris Jenkins with good coverage that time as he was able to get in there and knock it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On second down, Montgomery. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Taking it in from 11 yards out as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game. And that three and out on the last possession, they told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Manning now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Saquon Barkley running right. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. They'll run it again with Barkley. 
two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun, Manning. Got a man, Slayton. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 24 yards. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on the dump off, it's second down. On second down, here's Barkley, and he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On third down, Manning. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can complete everything. You can hit him underneath now. Yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taken with the defense will give him. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Manning, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And it's for pride now, but the Giants do get a bit closer. Everyone felt like this game was over, but to be able to stay in it, put together a drive, score a touchdown, that's got to be a positive for them. Rosas good with the extra point. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. This will be taken in at the one. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Hey, Alpha! Now Trubisky on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Finding Gabriel complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. On first down, Montgomery. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Montgomery. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. 
Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Ready, ready. The Giants offense ready, ready. at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Working from the gun, Manning. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. Oh, the Bears break through, and they block it. It's picked up, and this is a live ball, remember. Touchdown, Bears. So another score there, and often you talk about the three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Giants offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Manning looking middle, and it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Manning finds his tight end, Ingram. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. The reception good for seven. It's third down. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. And this offense led by Mitchell Trubisky going to make their way back out there. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Big Leonard Williams there all the stop. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. 
Robinson's got it. And now running right through it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Trubisky now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Here's Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. Give him 9 there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there, second down. On second down, it's Cohen. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. On second down now. It's Cohen. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Let's go. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So up through three. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. A five-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to pour it on. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he used to sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one of she's our guys. singing too. Oh, she's singing. She, yeah, she's she's least, on like the fifth tune. At yeah, this point. She, she left scales way behind. But he used to sing something about turning out the lights. The party was over. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. And now here's another interception. Picked off at the 24. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. This is fielded at the goal line. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown. This offense right back out of nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. On third and long, it's Manning. Catch made by Slayton. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. On the return is Cohen. 
Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you, when do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL.